YouTube coming at you again with another video and today we are looking at the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. So the rattles, this rattlesnake is North America's longest and heaviest venomous snake. No, I don't have one and honestly I don't want to have one for a bunch of different reasons but Typically can reach lengths between three to six feet, but adults can reach eight feet in length and They can weigh as much as ten pounds now these guys are pit vipers and The pit is actually located between the nostrils and the eyes. I Don't know Usually these guys are pretty well detailed I'm not sure where where the pits are in this guy, but um, sure. Anyway, so they would be somewhere between the eyes. The eyes and the nostrils. And those are really important because they help the animal detect body heat. They are found throughout the southeastern United States, and they can be found in a variety of habitats such as shrublands, coastal forest, and um, a few other environments. They really don't like it super wet. So that's just a little bit about them. They are, they of course have a rattle. As you can see now they lose these pretty easily they can break off um, but the rattle is actually hollow and it gets a new segment every time that it molts they are ambush predators sort of like the gaboon viper um, they're gonna sit and wait for prey to come to them they will bite it and then follow it. So again, that's another reason why they had those pits to help them track their prey. While we're talking about that, these guys tend to feed on small mammals and birds. We've already talked about the, the pits, but they can also use their tongue to help pick up prey scent. Um, I believe it's in the top of the mouth. They have what's called a Jacobson's organ. And that's actually what they use to pick up those food particles. Now, a bite from the snake can deliver enough venom to put you in a whole lot of pain and a whole lot of mess. These guys have a venom that is mostly hemotoxic, but it also has cytotoxic components in its venom. So basically what that means is it's going to destroy your, um, your red blood cells and your tissue. I am not going to show you pictures of victims of rattlesnake bites or this one in particular. But if you wanted to, you could look that up. Okay? Um, even though my videos are sort of... I don't want to say they're entertaining. But um, I don't want to get gross. They probably get me likes. But yeah, not. Nah. Um, if you don't get treatment, you could end up dying from this bite. Your best bet though is to just leave the snake alone um if you get nothing else from my videos hopefully that's something that you you learn really quickly is that i'm all about leaving the animal alone for the most part um and just letting it do its thing don't pick it up don't try to kill it just leave it be because believe it or not 
a lot of times when people get bit, it's because they're handling an animal or they're trying something. So if you leave it alone and you don't surprise it, you don't step on it, you don't accidentally come across it, you make enough stomping around, they probably are going to leave. Um, they're out looking for food or coming out of wherever, but a bite is going to cost you. Seriously, not just in health. A bite from a rattlesnake could end up costing you over, and I'm not making this up, $150,000. And a lot, some of that is in the anti-venom. Basically, no animal that I know of will mess with an adult um, rattlesnake, but the young have many predators. Uh, alligators, birds, mammals, other reptiles will eat them. So, males actually will fight for females, and once mated, the babies will spend six to seven months developing in their eggs within mama. And then the eggs hatch internally, and the female will end up giving birth to as many as 21 babies. But they can also have as few as six. And that is a little bit. Oh, nope, not, not over yet, sorry. These snakes can live for 15 to 20 years. Also really, really important, if you do see a dead snake, regardless of the species, it doesn't matter what type of rattlesnake, copperheads, cottonmouths, don't mess with them because um, they can still bite hours after they're dead and you can get envenomated so yeah don't mess with them leave them alone just just leave them alone take take my advice and with that i will say goodbye